in this video, I will share with you what it takes to become a senior developer. First, we will discuss what a senior developer actually is. And after that, we'll discuss different topics about what it takes to become a senior developer. And the first one is spending the time. The second one is staying eager to learn. And the third one is becoming a team player. And as a bonus, I'll discuss with you different paths you can take as a senior developer. Let's jump into it. What is a senior developer? A senior developer is someone that has at least five years of experience in a coding job. And it doesn't matter if it's a little bit less, maybe a little bit more, but it has to be around five years. A senior developer can be proficient in any programming language. You can put them in the front end, back end, you can give them a JavaScript, Python, Java, .NET, it doesn't matter. They will figure out how to build the solution. Senior developer thinks in solving problems instead of just randomly starting to write code. So first they think of the problem and what the solution should be, and then they look for the best fit. They, senior developers, also have the ability to explain complex stuff in an easy way. This is handy when you talk to juniors, but also when you talk to the business. Senior developers are also aware of the bigger picture. They know that what they do has impact on other people as well and are not only focused on their own work. And senior developers are also able to understand the business side of things. Sometimes because of the business solution, the code cannot be perfect, but at least they will know how to find the middle ground. The first aspect of becoming a senior developer, and that is time. Just like any other skill, you need to put in the time, you need to put in the work to improve the skill. But if you can hang on to a senior that can mentor you and that can guide you, that will decrease the time of you becoming a senior by a lot. And the other side of the story is don't cheat yourself. Sometimes when we want to become a senior or we want to become something that needs to put in uh, time, then we get too eager and we start maybe coding in the evenings, ordering junk food um, and put on your headphones and start coding till late every evening. And what happens in the end? Right? You may be a senior developer a bit quicker, but the question is, is it worth it to become unhealthy, to become, become unhappy? Of course, I can't decide for you, but I would say keep it a little bit more balanced. Just close your laptop at 6, have some dinner uh, with the family, uh, talk to your partner and maybe a little bit of coding, maybe an hour, half an hour, but keep it balanced are you liking this content then please don't forget to like and subscribe the second aspect of becoming a senior developer is staying eager to learn especially the landscape in tech and in programming is changing really rapidly and you need to keep up Especially for the front-enders, you only need to blink your eyes and there's a new framework already. So don't fall into the trap of doing Udemy courses for every new framework that comes out. Just focus on the fundamentals and the parts that do not change. And if you want to learn, don't spend hours on Udemy courses copying somebody else's code. You will not learn anything from that. So start building your own app and go deep with that. And what happens is you come, you run against problems that you need to solve, just like in a real coding job. And that's where the learning happens. So build your own app and go deep. And very important if you're working, not maybe yet as a senior, just keep asking questions. Don't be afraid 
that people think you're stupid. Just ask the questions. That's the only way you will find out. The third aspect of becoming a senior developer. As a developer, most of the time you'll be working in a team. And the team oftentimes has different rules, different processes. So oftentimes uh, development teams work in Scrum. They use Gitflow. They have a certain uh, release process. Also, coding conventions may be there. So it's very good to know those processes, become good at it and do maybe some improvement suggestions when the time is right. Um, and second, don't write code just for the sake of fixing something, but also write the code to be more readable for other developers, because most of the time of a senior developer is spent on reading code and not writing it. So when you are reading it, it's very nice and it would save a lot of time if it's readable and clear and you know what it does so before you make a pr make sure it's nice and tidy there are no more console logs in there and also make sure your final iteration of your idea is in there because you know when you're starting on the, on the feature you have this nice solution you build it and then you already have some ideas for the next iterations and what they should be so before you open the PR, make sure those iterations are already in there because otherwise you'll be just wasting other people's time getting feedback on things you already know or you had ideas about. Uh, review comments on PRs. They are not personal, so don't take them personal. The review comments are there to keep the code base clean for everybody. So if you have some feedback, Take it as an opportunity to get better and to learn stuff instead of feeling attacked. Finally, don't see the business or managers as enemies because they just want what is best for the team because in the end, they just want a good product just like you. Bonus! Different paths a senior developer can take. First we have the principal expert. That's the one who just wants to focus on programming and nothing else. Second, we have the architect. That's the one who draws all the nice pictures, tying them together, convincing to the business what the best option is, and also talks about the money involved. Then we have the lead developer. That's the team lead of the development team. Then we have the engineering manager who is responsible for the HR staff of all the engineers and helps them in their growth. Then we have the Inspirator. That's the one who writes all the articles and gives presentations on different conferences. And last but not least, we have the Trainer. That's a developer who likes to give trainings and workshops. To wrap up, in this video, we discuss the different aspects that play a role to becoming a senior developer. First one was time. You need to put in the hours to learn the skill, but at the same time, keep it balanced. It's your normal life. Learning. You have to stay eager to learn and build your own projects. Becoming a team player. Make your code and PRs readable for other developers. And as a bonus, we discuss different paths a senior developer can take. So, if you like this video and this content, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And let me know in the comments what are the different aspects you think a senior developer needs to walk through. And what is a senior developer according to you? I'm curious, let me know. Bye.